Today on the North American Journeyman, we've established ourselves as a top club in the Dominican Republic. Winning the first league phase, winning the second league phase, we're on to the playoffs. And if we can win this two-legged tie, then we'll qualify for the Caribbean Cup. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at the Caribbean Cup, which is currently ongoing, because uh, Cibao and Pantoja are playing in it. We, today, play Atlantico, who finished fourth in the second stage. Pantoja and Cibao, our two rivals, are kind of struggling in the Caribbean Cup. They play each other in the last game, so you can see their schedule. They play Pantoja, Pantoja, Pantoja. Hopefully they just wear each other out and we meet one of these two teams when we make it to the final by the end of this video, which I guarantee maybe that wasn't smart. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if one of them is going to be able to finish. It's a really tight group. So that's group B. Group A, it looks like Vega Real has a chance to qualify to get into the semifinals. So four teams qualify and then three teams make it the winner of the third place game and then the two top teams qualify for the Champions Cup. So we're just keeping an eye on that. But today, you're going to fully meet the team because we're playing Delphine's Del Este. And we'll catch you all up. Last video was the video where we really explained what's been going on. Today's more of a we're playing it kind of vibe, just playing two games. But we're going to let you know that Gonzalez is a beast who's coming in. Hasn't scored a goal yet, but he's got four assists. He's getting bedded in pretty nicely. Still stoked on him. The star man, obviously, is Yessi Mina. Get my... Where, where did this thing click up from? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, his physicals are going to start coming down a little bit, but he's just bossing it. I mean, he's got 18 goals and 12 assists. He actually has more assists or equal assists since we moved him up top as he did when he was out wide as a winger. Um, Abulashov is the young Russian American who's just Russian now. He's going to sit on the bench this one because he's a little bit tired. Cordoba's the beast center midfielder, but he's a little bit old. And this is the team. We should be able to have no issues against Atlantico away in this first game. So let's go ahead and get started because I'm excited about the North American journeyman. We're turning this ship around after the calamity in Silesia, which I do plan on going back to for those that enjoyed that series. It was a lot of fun. I haven't spent any time working on the database yet. But we'll get there. Right now, I'm just kind of on vacation. You know, I'm in I'm in Dominican Republic, just chilling. See, I got my Dominican vibes on, listening to Dominican music, watching all the girls in Dominican shake their behinds all around the place. It's a good time. So we've been streaming most of this save so far on Twitch. You can follow the link down below. If you want to catch some of this action live, I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to do. I think I want to focus more on uh, condensing this stuff into YouTube videos. Because we need to get that followership up and running. We're not doing too hot and Juan David Gonzalez just goes down with a foot injury. He bruised his foot one time before. Josh Garcia can come in. Uh, guaranteed the victory earlier, but we're not really doing too much. We usually start fairly slow. I mean, yeah, we can just have the latest scores up, even though they're right here. Pantoja beating Seabow. Victoria's not looking too good. We usually kind of shut them down in the first half, and then the second half we just go on a tear. But if we can get a first half goal, I smell one coming from Mina. 
Little header to Gonzalez. Victoria's there, but it was just a little bit wide. He couldn't turn it in. But that's a good move. I mean, I want to win the league, but we have to qualify for the Caribbean Cup. And then the season will end. Next episode will be the final. Unless we don't get through this tie. I'm talking about it maybe a little bit too confidently. Especially after this first half performance. I mean, it's the away leg and we're dominating. They have one shot so far. So keep going. Come on. Keep going. I need you guys to step up. Okay? Everybody liked it. Oh, our young Argentinian center back. I took him out for this game. Reyes hasn't really played very well since he's come in. Come on, guys. I guess we'll go positive. And we'll do a little bit of this action. They seem to like this every now and again. That's probably all fine. Give a little encouragement. Is the occasion too big for Victoria? He's not playing too good. Guishon's on a red for Cibao. That's their really good center midfielder, who's like 34, but I mean, Mina's 34. So that doesn't really too matter too much in this kind of league. For longevity, it does, but all right, they go forward. Cordoba heads it. Can Garcia get there? No. Nor Robert. Atlantico looking to break, but good tackle there. That should be, yeah, that's a Tardo. Who's not usually very good defensively, but he did a good job tracking back there. Sticking a foot in. Now Mina is going to burst through the lines, take a shot, score. Alusmo makes a nice save. But that's pretty good for Mina, showing what he can do. Valencia is going to take this one, the left back. Cordoba. Yeah, Victoria. All right, we're getting a highlight here, but Victoria is not playing great. I want to get a bullish on. Show sure you guys him. We can bring in Laverne on. Since Moncada is nervous, we're playing the young goalkeeper as well. Because Picado just made too many mistakes. He just, he would try and come out for the ball. Oh, speaking of mistakes, Renteria's in with the shot. Hits the post. Speaking of mistakes, pause. Let's just get it down the field a little bit. Speaking of mistakes... We bring on two players on a corner. Sometimes that's not the smartest thing, but the highlight doesn't continue. Come on. Garcia's not 6.4. That's not good. I really hope Gonzalez isn't, like, done for the year. After the season ends, though, I think we're off for, like, three months with nothing to do, so... It might end up being okay, but hopefully he's back for the ideally the next game, but the final if we can make it. Artado falls to Mina, takes a shot with the left foot. 19th goal of the year. He already got all his bonuses for his 10-goal bonus and then his 15-goal bonus, which ended up being around 2K, 1.5 2K, something like that. Money we don't have, but it's okay. We'll see what the money situation is like in this club after. After the season ends, because I don't know where it's going to come from, because the league doesn't really have any. Can we make a third sub? We've already made all our subs. Well, I don't have anything to say. Just do this. Just slow it up a little bit. Pantoja is... They've really turned into the second best team they're crushing teams and Seabow has kind of dropped some points here and there but they play each other like in a week or in like a couple days we should play our next game in like a week that's a good win let's give it to them again everybody played good defensive play was good he's outperforming his xg 
the analysts can talk about that one. Oh, I haven't I haven't heard. Please be good news. Please don't be beat up too bad. Six to seven weeks with a twisted ankle? Man. I could play him for the next game. I'm not going to do that. Well, you guys got to see Gonzalez. And you guys got to see Gonzalez get hurt. All right, clean sheet. Yeah, Chavez has been doing really good, for sure. It's not just down to him. I wouldn't even swap him for killing Mbappe. Because I couldn't. Ever. Look at this gentleman for Seabow. We're keeping an eye on. Who's extremely doubtful about coming here. Natalucci, their right winger. I would bring this guy in for sure. I'd play him as a right back. They've got him on a decent contract. We'll keep scouting him, add him to the short list. Maybe he'll eventually want to come here. We'll keep an eye on their game. It's uh, in a couple days and then we play in a week. So yeah, we play on the same day again. So we'll be back for the second leg. All right, we're back. So some goings on. So Pantoho won 3-0 on Seabow. Seabow, looks like they're in a little bit of debt, too. Um, but they went ahead and beat Pantoja in the Caribbean Cup Group B. So it looks like they got through. And they'll play Arnett Gardens. So Pantoja did not do good. One win, three losses. Jamaican team, Mount Pleasant. And they play Arnett Gardens, who's also Jamaican. And Atletico Vega Real had a chance to make it through, but they played Arnett Gardens in their last game. And so they're out. So two Jamaican teams, one Trinidad, and one our sole survivor. Our sole representative is Seabow. So that'll probably happen soon. I guess that's probably around the time that we play our final because our final is in our league is also two legs. So if we play Pantoja, then they'll be as rested as us. But if Seabow can turn around a three goal first leg loss, then that might work out in our favor. But they're both. We've struggled more against Pantoja, so we'll probably play them. But we need to get through our own game. OK, we're getting ahead of ourselves too much here. All right, Chavez is bossing at the youngster. I'm pretty, I'm changing Atardo because I was thinking about just playing him out wide anyways because he's not really a central midfielder. I mean, he can do a job there. He's done okay, but I think he'd actually do better on the wing. So he's coming in, and then Laverne's going to come in as the center midfielder. We have Alvarez. Jordi Alvarez is back. Uh, Romero's coming back in. So these guys are done at the end of the season. Annoyingly, I can't really loan them back in because tested in another environment, blah, 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 whatever. We'll try and work a thing where we do an optional future fee when the time gets a little bit closer. But this is the team. Mina Gomez, they got the partnership. Cordoba, Romero, Valencia on the left, Orojuela on the right. Abulashov's coming in on the left because Victoria didn't play too good. Hopefully he doesn't pick up a yellow, or Mancata for that matter. But we should be able to handle these guys. Finish this tie out, we're qualified for the Caribbean Cup. That's all that matters. Saw a couple little nervous people there. So that's not great. Sarah's done a little work against us. We just bought this guy, by the way. He's actually pretty good. Trust me, he's actually, he's pretty decent all-rounder. He's 23, and he's Colombian, so our team is littered with Colombians. All right, in the home ground. Looking at the parking structure. Let's get a win here. Tardo can't get to it. They're sending people forward through Becerra. What can we do here? 
He skips by one guy, drives inside, Chavez makes the save. Chavez came in, corner comes in, Cannoneer, what's that? Cannoneer handled it, I thought it was a penalty. Chavez came in because Picado, the regular goalkeeper, has just been making weird mistakes. First shot I ever saw Chavez face was straight at him, and he just flapped, and it went right into the back of the net. And I went, oh, okay, you're not good at all. But since then, he's been a boss. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have encouraged them because technically we're up one nothing. They don't when you're leading and you encourage, they don't like that. They don't like to be encouraged in the lead. Just let them do their thing. But we haven't played good in this game so far. Let's see if we can do it here though. Gomez. Haler Gomez drives inside. Ooh, good save by Alusma. He saved some worldies of goals when we play against Atlantico. Going for that near post again. Comes back out to Valencia. Don't get to see it. Wasn't important. Wasn't anything good. All right, they're pissed. We're okay. Yeah, press Becerra for sure. Seabow pulled one back. This game is very even. If this thing goes, there's no away goals, I believe. There is extra time and penalties, though. And right now, this has that kind of feel where they're going to grab a goal and then we're going to end up playing a long one. But that's Mina through, and he finishes it off. 2 nothing. Mina's 20th of the season. He loves it. He loves Delphine's Del Este. Beautiful stuff here. From a Bulashov driving down the field, sends it through. Sorry if you wanted to see that highlight, but... I'm just so excited. We're on to the next thing. Let's keep going. Vargas is injured. Good. Can we see some more injuries? Maybe some red cards in that game? Atardo's on a 6.4. Since we moved him over to the right wing. You're doing well. We can do better. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Gomez isn't playing very good. Either. Valencia's on a 6.52. Not a 6.52, a 6.5 also. Here we go. Artardo drives inside. He's not a great dribbler, I don't think. It's kind of his problem. A bullish shot with the cross to Mina with the unselfish nodded head down to his strike partner, Gomez, who rips a shot. And Alusma makes another save. Mina crosses in. Can we work something here, Artardo? Nope. It's cleared out. We should win that. Romero just get down on the ground. No yellow for that, though. That's something you'd probably expect to see. Gomez on a 6.3. Probably take a Tardo out. Moncada plays Gomez through. What can he do here? Earn a penalty, maybe? Tardo. Nice. Mina. 3-0. We've, lot, we've dropped three goal leads a couple times this season, so I'm not super confident, but Atlantico is not the goal-scoring threat of a Seabow or a Pantilla, so should be okay. I'm even going to praise them. Scary stuff, given the praise. Tardo's now doing good. I'm going to take Valencia off. For a complacent left back. I'm not going to take Valencia off. Maybe bring Victoria on. We're good for now. We'll just save the subs. Is that other game 3-1 to one all of a sudden? For Pantoja? Did they just score three goals in a flash? Tardo loses it. Or, or Juela holds it in. Moncada. Can't quite work that one through to Otardo. Can they break here? We're going to press them up. Press them up, force a mistake. Shanti. They're playing out of the back pretty confidently. They need a goal here. We don't want to give it to them. That should be us, but it's not. Renteria skips through. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Good tackle. 
Yeah, it's 3-1, 57-62-65 they score. Bulashov up to Valencia. It's wide from Valencia. It is the highlight, but now he's complacent. So we'll swap complacency for complacency. Yeah, we can bring Chong in, I guess. Hmm. Maybe we'll bring Alvarez in for Haler Gomez and drop him as a 10. He likes Ngosh, so why not? He's been injured most of the season. I'm probably not going to renew his contract. We just picked up, I pointed him out, their center midfielder, Ibarra, who's pretty good. More of a defensive midfielder option. It's hard to find good midfielders. Becerra's through. Great save from Chavez, though. The goalkeeper switch was clutch. It's helped a lot because Picado was not getting it done. I think we take... We'll probably take a Bulashov off because he's the more of the tire of the two wingers. See what he can do here. Plays it up. Tries to get Mina in space, but it's a little too far. Lusma plays Pierre. They lifted up the field. Can we win this? Oh, Becerra's in behind again. And he scores that one. Switch up the tactic here a little bit. Worry about the countering. We can still counter press. I'm still okay with that. Although, it honestly, doesn't even look like we're doing that. We'll, we'll go counter. I'd rather maintain the possession a little bit. We'll even slow it up. Slower. And we'll save that sub for like 85th minute. Yeah, that's Romero, who's not good in the air. So, of course, he gets beat. And then he gets beat on the turn, too. Becerra's like one of the best players in the league. He scored a few times against us. They switched to a 7-3 formation. See what Bulashov can do here. Tamina, he's not great with his head. He's like 5-5. Five, five. 80th minute. Some nervous guys. Well, if it goes to extra time or something like that, I'm going to want a Bulashov on the pitch. Probably. Yordi? Should we bring in Yordi Alvarez? I'm going to bring in Yordi. Because Laverne's not playing very good. The youngster... Close it out. Let's go one tick. Freaking mosquito on my neck. Let's get rid of this. Go two ticks. Corner in. Orojuela, the right back. With the assist from Mina. Yesi Mina. That's like his 13th or 14th assist this season. And we... Are up four to one. We're going on to the final. It looks like it's gonna, it's for sure gonna be against Pantoa. We'll praise them up again. Good job, boys. It's what we needed to do. Seabow's on to the Caribbean Cup semifinals. See if they can qualify for the Champions Cup. And we are on. Congratulations, you made it to the final. That means that we are qualified. Promotion to overcome in the league. After getting past, there's no point suggesting we aren't in with a serious chance of attaining promotion. Um, no, I'm not going to say that because it's weird. Involved in a final with promotion at stake. Are they talking about promotion to the Caribbean Cup? Playoff finals have often been the undoing of sides even better than ours, so we'll go into it with our eyes wide open. I'm not even sure what that means. We know what's at stake. We're excited. All right. A few hairy moments. You could see where it was going. Are you kidding me? Pretty big deflection on his goal. What? What? We earned it. I don't know what you're talking about. Pantoja wipes Sebao off the map. 
So next episode, we'll be back for the Pantoja two-legged final. We'll catch up on Seabow, see how they're doing in the Caribbean Cup. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the CONCACAF Journeyman series. I don't know how long it'll go for. It depends how it's looking with our objectives that I laid out. But we're well on our way to completing our first one. But we're in for a chance for our first piece of silverware in the next episode. Please like, please subscribe. Click the link to the Twitch. Catch me live every now and again, too. Thanks for hanging out. Rock on Dominicana. See you next time.